Hey, that's a spelling mistake. Oops, you're right. I made a mistake, but since I'm using a pencil, I can fix it. Oh, sure you can. That's the best thing about me. I'm all about second chances. I allow you to correct your mistakes. Sure you do. So why not talk about you today, Mr. Pencil? Oh, no second thoughts on that idea. Go on, Dr. B. Tell them all about me. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's talk about the invention of pencils today. Zoom in. Well, before we directly jump onto pencils, I want you to tell me what are pencil leads made of? Are you thinking? Come on, put some pressure on those brain cells. Oh yes, you got that right. Pencil leads are made of graphite. Graphite, huh? I always thought it was actual lead. <laughs> well, graphite was discovered in Borrowdale, England in the early 1500s. The story goes that one fine day, the locals saw some uprooted trees. When they tried to investigate, they came across a strange dark ore underneath. Hey, what's this, mate? I don't know, yeah? Looks like a lump of black sand. Of course not. This is harder than sand. Let's show it to our fellow mates, eh? And they all started thinking about the new strange material. Very soon it was found that the black material leaves its color behind. Oh boy! Yes, this is spectacular! Hey, why don't we mark our sheep with it? Doing that, we'd know which sheep belongs to whom. That's a brilliant idea, mate! And that's how the locals used this black material called graphite to mark their sheep. But isn't it weird? Something solid leaving its color behind? How does that happen, Dr. Binox? Ha! Ah, that's an interesting property of graphite itself. Graphite is made of layers of carbon atoms. These carbon atoms look like flat sheets on top of each other, connected by bonds that are kind of weak. This allows the sheet of carbon atoms to slide easily. So, when you drag a piece of graphite across a piece of paper, it leaves a mark. Wow! Who knew there is so much going on in such a simple looking thing? That's right, my friend. Did you know when people found how messy it was to use a graphite stick, they originally used string or cloth to cover the graphite. Then who came up with the idea of using wood? It is believed that an Italian couple came up with this genius idea in 1560. However, later in 1795, an officer in the Napoleon army, Nicolas Jacques Conte, came up with what we see as modern pencils today. The process was simple. He roasted a mixture of water, clay and graphite at 1900 Fahrenheit and encased a small wooden covering over it. But what's the use of this mixture when graphite worked so well? This mixture helped him create different kinds of pencils. The more the clay the mixture had, the lighter was the stroke of the pencil. And this is how the HB scale was invented. Trivia time! In the HB scale, H stands for hard and B means black. Graphite has been derived from the Greek word graphene, which means to write. So friends, where was graphite discovered? Till the time you rack your brain to come up with the right answer, I'll go make some sketches with me. Tune in next time for more fun facts. This is us zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!